What's good with y'all? What's good? Thank y'all for tuning in for another video. Man, we're over here. Uh, another episode with Big Meats. Getting it in. Rick made it over here. Uh, plan today was to do the brakes and all that. But y'all saw in the uh, the last episode, they had a backfire. But I don't know. We might hit the, Well, he want to put the vacuum gauge on there too. But i uh, been reading your comments and all that too. And I still got to get that. PCV valve. I need to call and get it ordered, but saw some uh he saw some squirting on the intake right here. I ain't paid no attention. And I saw one of y'all said it might have a uh, intake leak, vacuum leak. And the holes is cracked. The holes the whole split right there. So that could be causing a lot of problems too. Be surprised how how many problems some some like little like that'll cause. Somebody's talking about the fast idle. So we're gonna cut that cut that piece off of it. It probably where that oil come from too. So we're gonna cut that off of there. Uh fix that. But uh yeah, I don't know what the tack plan is. See, we said we're gonna do the brakes, do the front brakes on. Um, then we gotta change the plugs, of course. I said I got the I got the new plug. Same plug that when it, that was in here. It's a hot plug, all of that, but y'all know y'all saw the last video, got the exhaust on. So you gotta go get the get the hangers put on and yeah after that we'll be ready to ride and say i got to have the front brakes on too to ride car i don't have a tie to go over there like i told y'all a tie right there but the rotors i got is a five by five to make the uh boat pattern the same for people that been missing episode i got a big chevy little pattern on the back due to the rear end and i got a small chevy little pattern on the front but it'll all be five on five it's all said and done so we about to get everything rolling. Y'all stay tuned. I'll catch y'all in a minute. Alright. So we're about to try to start it. Got the uh got new holes on the PCV. We'll see what happened. Last time, boy, that thing was loud, boy. Start it up. Running, running, uh, running at regular idle too, so. Well, we're saying that comment probably right. Well, ain't no problem. The back and leak. There's a back and leak one. I said, there's a back and leak one. So it, it like, yeah. It's speeding up now. Oh, the, the fuel pump. Fuel pump. <laughs> All right, y'all. They were having last time. See, <laughs> the second time I fired up in the last video, that thing said, pow. So, hope we don't get that. Hope we don't get that. We're going to see what happens. Gonna see what happened, y'all. That thing there was loud. Uh, we ain't got no popping so far. It's probably the plugs now. Might be the plugs now. Right back up. Might have been the source of our problem. I thought we could be plugs, man. I thought it was. <laughs> Three said he wanted motor back. You want to like go and say. y'all out of down a little bit but we did have vacuum leak obviously so somebody was on the money with the intake it was a little small crack there was a small crack up there with a uh, pcb 
go in the carburetor. Run the run as smooth as ever, and it still needs plugs in it. It's gonna get better. Now the plug black. It's gonna get better. So you gotta see what they're coming out there's off. I don't know what it is, but why it's smoking like that. It ain't oil. Could be uh excess gas too, car. It, it dumped a lot of gas in the, uh, on the plug and all that. Run like a sewing machine. See if it crank back up, y'all. They're the plugs now. They're the plugs, so they're why it was popping and during startup. It, it didn't need plugs now, y'all. Yeah. You gotta put the plugs in it. Why hard to crank? So I'm gonna check back in, y'all. When we see uh after the plug get in there, y'all gonna see how easy it's gonna crank. Be cranking right up. So y'all stay tuned. All right. So Rick about to hit this side. Got everything laid out. I'm gonna go ahead and paint these calipers. I ain't doing it just for look. I mean, I got extra paint. I'm trying to get rid of, and uh, it keep them from rusting and stuff too. So about to hit them with the red caliper paint. Said no, no reason in particular. Like I said, just keep them from resting and all that good stuff. So get that done while uh, Rick getting it took apart. God, he ain't, he ain't gonna take long. He, he take them things apart quick. So do this. Then we're gonna slide over there see what he got going on. Check him back in. Got that one painted. I see it. I see, I gotta get rid of the paint, man. Too much stuff. Got too much stuff in the garage. Getting rid of these boxes. It's all gone out of there. You know. All of that. So, I already pretty much got this toe down. Brakes, it needed, it needed this stuff too, y'all see. It rusty. But this showing y'all too, for people that are wondering if you can change your uh, bolt pattern in the front from small Chevy to big Chevy, yeah. On the box Chevy, yeah, you can. Cause like I said, they make some with the 11 inch brake and the nine and a half. If you get uh rotors for if you get rotors for a car with the 11 inch rear rear brakes it'll be a big chevy boat pattern in the uh they use the same they all go on they use the same spindle so the rotor will slide right on bearings in the same in and out of bearings all that stuff the same they just bigger they just bigger right there where the actual studs at that's where they bigger at everything else the same even use the same uh caliper all that so it's quick little quick little tip for y'all wonder so we're getting that changed and uh then said i have all four matching ties too then i'll be able to dry this thing see how it do you no know, make sure see how it shift and all that stuff see how it run on the road because like i said I had an adapter over here with two lugs on the adapter and then five on the wheel so you can't ride like that but he getting that all uh, broke down I'm letting that fur caliper dry. Then we're gonna go back together with it. Alright, so he already took the road off. So I'm gonna show y'all there. Hold on. The bearing fell out. We still got the bearing in there, but y'all see. They the same. They the exact same in there. I'm gonna slide on there and make sure. Oh, you gonna. Show y'all this. Show y'all this right here. So 
Got that in there. Last time, boy, we were going back and forth with these things. When I had them, them uh, cross drill, drill rollers, y'all see, it go right on there. Go right on there. So, that's why I'm telling y'all, these uh, rollers are entertaining. This a small Chevy. This a uh, big Chevy boat pattern. In the surface area right here, bigger too, but they use the exact same caliper. Like I said, same caliper and same brakes. I don't know, but if you want to change them, go bigger. You can, so. And look at that, look at that, that thing had a ring on it. Needed it, it needed this stuff. Somebody come and say I need to change my back brake. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get all that, man, I do. It's safety stuff, I'm gonna get all that, so. Off with the old, and we're going on with the new, so. That, that caliper should be dry, so I'm gonna bring that over here too. And then uh, paint the other one. So we taking in. And we got a problem. I've been saying that a lot late. But <laughs> y'all see, you got to have a spindle too. Because the uh the total diameter of the rotor is way bigger. It's bigger right here, obviously. It hits the uh it hits the spindle, the hard part. I want not the dust seal. The dust seal would have been easy to fix, but it hits the uh the actual y'all see that the the metal. So that's the problem. That's the problem right there. So now I got to go back with a regular rotor. And I'm going to be forced to. I done ordered these wheels. So I'm going to use these wheels. So now I'm going to have to run an adapter on the front of this all the time. Which I mean, it cool or whatever. Unless I find spindles. But the parts though don't sell spindles. So I figure that out later down the line. But I'm going to have to run with a regular, a regular rotor. So, I'm going to have to grab them. I mean, the near part store is in my hometown. By the time I get there, come back, it'll be nighttime. So, I don't know. We're going to see what's going on, y'all. Just stay tuned. I like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? All right, so, just took out the number three. Yeah. Number three. Clean, but don't have no... uh. Don't have no good gap on it for real. Like you're about to touch. So I'm taking the spark plugs out while Rick putting it back together. I'm turning the plugs out. So I'll be checking them. And all that. So then we're gonna get it fired back up. Go back in. So we're gonna get it fired back up. So uh let me get all these chains. Then I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute. Alright, so we back. It's a new day. Same vlog, new day. Y'all saw what happened yesterday. Uh, so I'm, I'm putting these together because I didn't even finish changing the uh, spark plugs or whatever. I can't remember on the edit because I ain't even went back and looked at the footage. But if I already posted the clip, then I'm just reiterating. But what happened yesterday, started taking the plugs out. Uh, one of the plugs was touching. The strap was touching the electrode. And those plugs that's in that car now, they're still in big meats. I bought brand new. Most plugs come pre gap Those were not pre gap I don't know what's going on. They weren't dropped. The pack of plugs were never dropped or none of that. Not on my end. I bust them out the pack like that. We didn't look at them. Popped them in the motor. One of the electro one of the straps were touching the electrode. Uh they weren't gap right, which is why the car was running like it was. Uh and where is the smoke coming from? Cause I seen, I've been reading these comments, man. Wrong, a lot of people been wrong. Y'all talking about valve seals. No, the motor does not need valve seals. The motor does not smoke. Valve seals, yeah, true. And these uh, throttle body heads, valve seals are known to go out, but this motor is a uh, crate motor. It doesn't need valve seals. It's not just a old junkyard, uh, junkyard engine out of another car. Well, it's out of another car, but I ain't junk your engine. But, but basically, no, it does not need valve seals. That's not all smoke y'all been seeing. I meant to say something in the other video. It smells like gas. It's cause of the spark plugs. The spark plugs it, uh, is not able to burn up all the excess fuel because the gap not right. Like I said, you got one spark plug, which was actually touching, which is why it was popping when uh during startup. And I'm surprised it's running. You had another one that was... I'm talking about a hair from touching. So the spark plugs were just all off the gap. 
and uh, they were filed out, obviously, from the Holly Blue. So, hey, it was just a lot of wrong stuff, man. No, no veil seals. What else I saw? Uh, the timing. People talking about the timing, how he did the timing. The car is in time. The car run great, man. The timing ain't nothing wrong with the timing. I don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah, some people are by the book people. Cool. Nothing wrong with that. I don't judge you for that, but don't judge the way somebody else do something when it's performing and it's not tore up, which that's not. So, what else, man? I don't know. People got their opinions and stuff, but whoever said something about the vacuum leak, yeah, you was on the money. You was on the money with the vacuum leak. I said that in the video because that, that uh, hole to the PCV valve had a small split and had crack in it, which caused the high idle and stuff, too. But after I put these plugs in it, you're going to see an immediate difference. No smoke or none of that. Like, it just fired right up uh, earlier today. But that's uh, a little update on that. Uh, so I'm about to get these plugs gap. Got my old uh, AutoZone gapper. I didn't have a gapper. I got me a gapper. I'm going to set them at uh, 35. I'm going to set them at uh, 35 gap. It's about factory. And uh, yeah, gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna get them gout first, then I'm gonna pull them all out so I can just go right back in with them. Then you're gonna tell an immediate difference, trust me. So y'all stay tuned, about to get that done. Uh, won't be doing the break because Rick not coming over today. It's gonna be, today is actually Friday, so Rick ain't coming back to Monday. So y'all will get that video. But I got the new rotors. I got the new rotors, like I said. Got to keep the small Chevy uh, boat pattern. But what I hate is now I got two of these wheels that I can't do nothing with. I done mounted the tires. I can't do nothing with. I can run an adapter. I don't really want to. So at this point, I just got two extra wheels called. I'm going to buy two more of these with a small Chevy boat pattern. So I don't have to run an adapter. So I don't know. But let me get these spark plugs gap. Called these. The new set too, they not gap right either. So I gotta sit right here and gap these, then we're gonna throw them in, then uh, I'm gonna crank it up for y'all. All right, so I'm checking in. All on with gap so far, except this one. They said it about 38, 39, which is cool. Look at that. I'm gonna see if I can get the focus. You can kind of see it, look at that. It's straight out the pack now. Almost touching. So there's just one I gotta gap. You know, I got one more left. Let's see what that one look like. But this one had to be gap. It would have caused a problem too. So, I'm going to start checking all these spark plugs from now on. I'm going to finish these. The way you gap a spark plug, you just... I can't show y'all. It's hard. But you slide this this part right here in between. It got the readings on it. And you just kind of move it. You, you put it in between the electrode and the strap. And you to widen it out. And that's how you gap them. So... Finish that, then we're gonna pop them in. I'm gonna crank it up. All right, so check them back in. Got the spark plugs in. Tell y'all what, now normally that right there would be the hard side called the heater bar. This right here is the hard side. That's the hard side when tying the spark plug, boy. That, that, uh, that third one is no joke. No joke. But, uh, yeah. All of them, man, wet. Every last one of them wet. And I believe it was due to the, the ones that were uh, completely closed. I'm, su I'm surprised this thing was cranking. You see all of them black filed out. But it's it's because they're not uh, burning the fuel. I mean, they were dumping too much fuel. Excuse me. That's why they wet. They're not burning it good. And y'all see this the one that was about closed up too. Straight out the pack. So it was two of them like this. Two of them. One of them was touching. And this one almost touch. You can't see it good. But this one almost touch. So they'll cause big problems. So that's how they look. They're all black and wet. So I'm about to crank this thing up. Probably gonna touch the gas right quick. I'm gonna get wifey. I'm gonna get wifey to film. So y'all stay tuned for the neck clip. Alright, so we're about to try the car out.
Is it recording? I got the camera again. I'm letting it run. Uh, let me close it though. It'll clear up. It got to burn that, uh, it got to burn that excess fuel that was in the cylinder. Then it'll clear up. Definitely cranking better. It's cranking way better. It ain't all that, ain't that popping no more. Next so the next choke will uh, disengage in a minute. I see uh Big Meat try to go with that little 312. <laughs> Big Meat try to get going with that 312. Look at that. Nice little motor. Look where I was touching the water. There you go. Get out of bounds. All that where I was touching on the header, they still gotta burn off. Yeah, they gotta burn off. There was a lot of fuel in the cylinders. Trust me, that will clear off. It is not valve seal, y'all. If you was right here and could smell it, it's gas. It's not valve seal. It's not not oil. Not excess oil or whatever, it's not, it's not leaking nothing. Good oil pressure. Y'all saw the plugs, how wet the plugs was. That's, that's all that uh, excess gas got to burn out the cylinder and stuff. And I haven't just let that car run. I'm probably about to let it run now. See it calming down, electric choke. Kicking in. Oh, car feel good, man. Rick get the oil, get the rotors on and stuff. Go dry this thing. Let's see Smoother. Pretty much the best it I ever ran. Feel good. That thing pulling some nice little more. <laughs> little 312. Like it wanna keep keep spinning. Straight standstill. Uh like I said, I'm gonna let it run. Cause it'll clear up. It's gonna clear up and get better and better when it run out of excess fuel. I might just let it run and uh let the gas run out of it. I had put five gallons in it, but I said I might just let the gas run out of it. Y'all see it ain't it ain't popping turned off or uh, crank it again either. Running cool, 160 degrees. Let's see. I'm gonna crank this thing up again. Y'all see that? It's a spark go. Crank up on the dime. Crank up on the dime, yeah. I think meat's ready. I'm uh, I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that car run. I'm gonna let it run till that clear all the way up. And then I think this thing pretty much ready. See, when Rick come and put the rotors on, I put the tires on. I can go take it for a drive, and I'll be on the road, man. It's already insured and everything, so it's ready to go. So y'all gonna start seeing action videos and I'm gonna start teaching about the performance with 305 and a gear and a rear and all of that. So yeah, man, I mean, this, I think that's it, that's a wrap. So I'm gonna let this car run. Probably next video y'all see it, it probably be completely cleared up. Like I said, that ain't nothing but gas, man. It's, it's what, that's what it is, it's just gas burning out the cylinder, so. Yep, smell it. So, uh. Yeah. After that, y'all see it running crispy. It running crispy. I'm, before before I go, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it off and crank it up one more time. One more time. One.
one more time. Show folk. Gotta get it. I've got to get you. Oh, that little pop. What? Right. It'll clear up. But yeah, that's it. Let the thing run, like I said. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. I'ma keep the content coming. We got Dolo updates coming. They probably they, they pretty much gonna end the series after we do the front rotors of meat and we take the front drive, the first drive. It's gonna end this build series, but the content will keep on. It won't be no more build episode, but like pretty much running. But yeah, that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Catch y'all on the next one.